Good evening. My name is Carrie Grace Tower, and welcome to a contemplative service in the spirit of Tizay. This is offered through St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in Seattle, Washington. Thank you for joining us this week. This is the Sunday of Pentecost in which we celebrate the descending of the Spirit upon the early church and apostles. I would love to open us with a reading from T.S. Eliot's um, The Dove Descending from Little Getting Four Quartets. The dove descending breaks the air with flame of incandescent terror of which the tongues declare the one discharge from sin and error. The only hope or else despair lies in the choice of pyre or pyre to be redeemed from fire by fire. Who then devised the torment? Love. Love is the unfamiliar name behind the hands that wove the intolerable shirt of flame, which human power cannot remove. We only live, only suspire, consumed by either fire or fire. Blessed be God, creator, redeemer, and spirit of love. And blessed be God's beloved community, now and forever. Grace to you and peace from God, our creator, the love at our beginning and without end, in our midst and with us now. God is with us. Here we find new life.
Let's take a moment now to move more deeply into silence and resting in God. Living spirit, whose breath gives life to the world and whose voice is heard in the soft breeze, we need your strength and wisdom. Come breathe among us and within us. Gather us with your whole creation as together we embody the transforming love of Christ Jesus, our Redeemer. Amen.
And now we have a gospel reading from the Gospel of John. When the spirit of truth comes, it will guide you into all truth. For the spirit will not speak on its own, but will speak whatever it hears and will declare to you the things that are to come. The spirit will glorify me because it will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said that the Spirit will take what is mine and declare it to you.
For St. Andrew's Church and all the people who join us online, may we share the light of Christ. O oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison. For our city, Seattle, and all who live in it, may we care for each other. O oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison. For our schools and all the children who are growing in your sight, may they know your love. O oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison. For our country and all of us who guide its future, may your justice be done. O oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison. For our world and all creatures in it, may your spirit fill the earth with life. O oh Lord, we pray, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison. At this time, I invite your individual prayers in silence. As we pray, I will light these candles, and if you have any candles, feel free to light those as well. Come, let us offer our hearts to the Holy One. And now would you pray with me the Lord's Prayer? The words are on your screen. This one is from the New Zealand Anglican Church, the Book of Common Prayer. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven. The hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trial too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. 
And I'd love to read us a favorite quote from a favorite author of mine in closing that relates to this day of Pentecost and spirit and fire and light. This is an excerpt from Pilgrim at Tinker Creek by Annie Dillard. I cannot cause light. The most I can do is try to put myself in the path of its beam. It is possible in deep space to sail on solar wind. Light, be it particle or wave, has force. You rig a giant sail and go. The secret of seeing is to sail on solar wind. Hone and spread your spirit till you yourself are a sail, wetted, translucent, broadside to the merest puff. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, for joining us. A big thanks also to Kester Limner and Andy Myers, to other parishioners at St. Andrews who have contributed their beautiful music for us today. I hope this service and this space continues to bless you as it does me. Blessings to you this next week, and I will send us off with a blessing for the journey. The peace of the living Christ be always with you. Let us go forth bearing God's peace to the world. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Victor